So so Bullock comes out, does cool, and then Pac ends up going to prison. He gets right. he gets found guilty right. over not rape, but it was like a sexual assault, assault. charge. He goes to prison, he gets bailed out, then he gets on death row, and then he becomes the biggest thing in the fucking world. Yes. <laughs> California love goes to number one, and then it's just it's just a whirlwind for nine months, and then Las Vegas happens and he gets killed. Were you talking to him after he gets out from prison? Yeah. Really? Okay. Uh, actually, um, we had some some different uh, conversations. Uh, I had found myself landing a deal with widespread records, uh, and Death Row was doing the marketing and promotion. So uh, I had to go up and talk to Shug uh, from time to time about things that was, you know, he was doing over there widespread. Uh, seen Pac in Vegas a couple of times. And now the place that he was in when we did Bullet, that had us from here just a little more distant. And I think he probably was just distanced like that with everybody that yeah. probably wasn't a meeting in the circle and had so much going on within the circle uh, with the business. When I would see him in Vegas, it was almost like a, you know what I'm saying? Like, not right now, Big Chops. It, this shit is, is made to look real cool from the outside, but it ain't like that. I want to fuck with you, but I, nah, not right now. And and, 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 and I, took, I took that, you know, just from this vibe. You didn't have to tell me, you know, too much just on how he was moving. You know what I mean? It wasn't an inviting type situation, you know, because I'm not going to invite you into a situation that I'm trying to get out of myself. And I kind of, I kind of felt that with him, so I, you know, I, you know, I let him have his space and and, and everything and uh, different songs I had. I had little little jokes in there and stuff like that, you know. But far as uh, us really, you know, went with with that Vegas thing. By time by time Vegas happened, he had so much going on, so much going on, and and it's 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 sad because. You know, um, it really wasn't his beef. And that's just from a professional standpoint, but from a street standpoint, man, you spend a million motherfucking dollars and come get me out of jail. Motherfucker, your beef is my beef. Your problems is my problems. We ride or die. You came and got See, I done been to jail before. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a couple times. So I know what it's like for a motherfucker to come get you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh with 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 that situation, it's easy for, you know, me and a lot of other people to say, man, I was fucked up. You know, that wasn't even Pac's problem. It was people around to handle that and this, that, and the other. That was not Pac. You know what I mean? Pac wasn't just a rapper. You know. Yeah, I mean Pac shot those two uh white off-duty cops in, in Atlanta because they were beating up a black kid who he didn't even know at all. Right. So, you know, you look at the, the Vegas situation, this was a little closer to home. Mm -hmm. Pac is going to react like Pac has always reacted, it seems, consistently. And it's sad. I mean, when you heard the news of the shooting and then him dying, how, how did you react to it? Um, immediately, it was just like I lost a brother. You know, uh, and I would like to say like a set brother, uh, 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 a work, you know, a work play brother. Uh, I didn't believe it at first. I'm like, okay, this is, uh, this shit happened too fast. And then the phone is ringing with other different stories because I'm out there when this goes down. So the phone is ringing with other different stories. Nah, he's going to be all right. But then when the... Uh, when it when it actually when it actually happened that uh the, the 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 official call came in and it was like yeah man he's he gone and um that's when it really hit that if I'm feeling this kind of loss imagine the kind of loss hip hop uh black cinema uh 
the young younger generation the loss and the guidance that he could have and started to lay down. You know, uh, one thing about being young, you always want something great to, to follow, to listen to, to be inspired by. Uh, and, and Pac was that for a lot of people, hmm. not just young, grown, uh, 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 not just black, all nationalities. It's not too many people you could talk to that don't know who this man is. And um, all of that hit me and it was like, this is a, it's a major loss because this was, this was our next Malcolm X, you know, our next Dr. King in a different form. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I believe if, if, if Pac was, was still here, If Pac was still here, his voice would resonate in this generation different. I think we would have different outcomes because for this generation, they're not listening to the Al Sharptons, but they would have listened to Pac till this day, generations. So, we as a people suffered a tremendous, tremendous loss with the loss of our brother Tupac Shakur. Yeah, yeah, it was a, you know, and all around the world, his murals are everywhere. You can't go to any country and not see a Tupac mural. Uh, the music still resonates. And uh, yeah, man, just just a massive, a massive loss, man. It's it's a massive loss. A lot of you know we, we've covered so much of his story with the people around him, with the the outlaws and, and Tretch and Mo Prem and, and all these people that he's touched. Um, you know, people make the Nipsey comparisons after Nipsey got killed. Yeah. You know, where another, people another say Nipsey that loss. Nipsey was like, the, you know, how Pac would say, I'll, I'll spark the mind that will change right. the world. I think Nipsey really took it upon himself to keep his, his message alive. Yes. Um, you know, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I think once Pac got older, I think he would have influenced politics. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, you know, he, if, if you look at Pac's career right before his demise, uh, he was, he had done taken his his acting career to a A list level. Oh yeah, poetic justice. Right. So, uh, so, Source magazine had a major article on him with the he had the 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 gold specs glasses, looking very intelligent. And, and and the things that he was talking about and Vibe magazine. Vibe magazine. I'm sorry. Vibe magazine, things he was talking about in the direction he was going uh, with everything. You really like, oh, okay, wow, I'm glad because this is this is the guy that I wanted to see make it and didn't want his character to be his worst fucking enemy, you know.